Thank you. Hello. Well, I guess you know uh, you've landed on Emerald Live. I'm uh, filling in tonight. I'm Emerald Lagasse. You know, there's just something extraordinary about flavors of smoked foods, don't you think? I kind of into them myself, actually. I just love that flavor. There's so many different things that you can do. You know, you can use wood like mesquite or hickory. But, you know, there's also a whole new world of other options out there these days. You know, grape vines and cherry woods and all kinds of things, depending on what you want to smoke. And, of course, there's now a bigger selection of, of smokers out there as well. But this food is not for the faint-hearted, you know. It's fiery. It's intense. It's sexy. <laughs> Tonight, I'm turning up the heat, baby. Yeah. We're going to smoke the place out. Speaking about turning it up. Ha! Doc Gibbs in the Emerald Live, man. Well, folks, where there's smoke, there's fire. And it's right here on Emerald Live. job he did, Doc. Excellent, Excellent job. Excellent job. Excellent Steve job. Bowen. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody feeling good? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. Isn't it great to be in America, huh? Yeah. All right, so before we get smoking here, you want to know what we're going to smoke tonight? Let me show you what's on the old smoking menu. Hello, Jay. Good evening. Folks, we're going to have a, a lot of fun tonight showing you a lot of ways about smoking and some delicious dishes. We're going to start with something I just recently done uh, at the beach. Caught lots of tuna, and it's like, what do you do when you get all that tuna? Don't want to waste it. You gave a bunch of it away. Smoked tuna bruschetta. We're going to start with. I'm going to show you something real simple. You want to talk about a dynamite snack. We're going to go with a tortilla soup with fire roasted corn and chipotle crema. Oh, man. You want to talk about making your soul happy? <laughs> Woo! And then chicken smoked in a homemade smoker because you might not have one of those fancy smokers. Okay? Or you might not have seen them yet. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade one. Shrimp, chorizo, and chipotle gravy over Mexican rice. I mean, what show is this? Could this be Emerald Live? And then we're going to finish with a real simple stovetop smoke. I'm going to show you how to do some ribs at home that'll make you crazy. Absolutely delicious. This is uh, a new guy here, so you can use this as the bottom of the smoker. You can also use this as a roaster, okay? But um, we want to put it on the burner. If you have an electric burner at home, it works too. It's all about the heat. So this is the bottom pan here. Then it comes with like this drip pan, which would be this. Great because after you use it, <clears throat> you just put it in a dishwasher. Get rid of all that. 
comes with a little grill rack like that so you can put what you're going to smoke on this, okay? And then, of course, it comes this particular smoker with the lid, which also this smoker you could use as a griddle. Oh, yeah. This is ingenuity. <laughs> now, let me show you. They come with small chips. You can go in the grocery store now, most grocery stores, and buy wood chips. This is some hickory, which I absolutely love. And you got to soak it in water. And then basically, I'm going to add some of these wood chips in here. Can you already smell that? I mean, why not just pass out the tequila and the heck with the rest of the show? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, is there a need to go on? You know? We could just get all whacked out and go down the hall and watch Bobby Flay. <laughs> so now that we got the wood in here, and you can see it beginning to smoke, we take the pan. We put the pan inside here. Now the smoke can come out the sides. Are you with me? Yes, now I happen to have some beautiful tuna, and what I'm going to do is we're going to take a little oil. We're going to take a little essence. Both sides, of course. Hey, Vince, are we only smoking just one piece of this? Yeah. Okay, Vince, thank you. That's Vince. You'll meet him later. Okay, so we got the one piece of tuna on there. Now, what else could you smoke beside this or chicken or ribs? Bluefish, catfish, you can do mushrooms, vegetables. It's unbelievable the amount of flavor that you get. We got the smoker set up now. Woo! Now we put the lid on, okay? And we let it start smoking. And we're going to get that hickory flavor in there. And it's only going to be about 10 or 15 minutes. Are you okay? <laughs> You're not, like, breathing heavy or anything right now, are you? Please, let me finish the show. Then I'll drive you myself, but please. Hey, when we come back, we may have a baby. Stick around. We'll be right back. Talk to you. So the tuna is smoking, and I'm going to uh, show you another uh, another killer dish that I love, which is this tortilla soup. And you uh, sort of uh, do some other type of smoking, uh, which I'm going to show you in a second. You can sort of see how I've got like the double burn thing going on right now, because we're really cooking on this show here. And uh, <laughs> you okay? Perfect. What is your name? Christine. In case. We have to call, like, the fire department or anything. Christine, uh, when are you due? Today. Oh. <laughs> Excellent timing, Christine. Well, glad you're here on the show here. Thank you. Um, maybe just 47 minutes more, <laughs> you can make it. Are you hungry? Yes. I want the dishes. You do want the dishes. I got a table. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going quick. I uh, went over to a double burner. Now that I'm going over to a single burner, and uh, we are sm should we check on the tuna here? No. Nah. Let's wait a minute. All right. 
Let's talk about how we're going to do this in a food processor. We're going to take a little bit of butter, cold butter. We are going to take some green onions and a little bit of parsley. We are going to take some shallot. And we are going to take, whoops, some cream cheese. Yeah, a little bit of cream cheese. And then what we're going to do is begin to just sort of make this a little bit into a paste. Perfect. I was not joking with you when I, uh, you know, we were down like fishing and, you know, we uh, caught a bunch of tuna and it's like, well, what are we going to do with all this? And a couple of days went by and it was like, well, let's make some sort of a uh, little tuna dip here. At least we can, you know. So uh, now here's what's cool. We're going to check that out. All right. So the tuna smoked. And um, of course, the unbelievable Food Network kitchen, we have one that smoked in case we uh, have to run to the hospital. And uh, basically now what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the smoked tuna, and uh, it should be cool, and break it up in pieces. But, um, but why waste? Why waste this tuna right here, right? I mean, why waste? Oh, it's really cool right now, okay? <laughs> it's perfectly cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix that together. And then as it just sort of all gets... a little tuna dance by Doc Gibbs and uh, Teddy. Now look, this kind of looks like a little because we added a lot in here, right? So, okay, Rhoda, I'm going, baby. All right, a little cream in here, a little salt, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fresh ground pepper, and now we're in the home stretch. Perfect. So now what I would do is I would just serve this. Oh, yeah, perfect. I would just serve this tuna dip in a little bowl like this. And uh, a little like that. And a little more like this here. And a little more like this here. Now... Let me just show you this real quick. What we're going to do is I got this flame on here. We're going to take an ear of corn, and we're going to start putting it on the burner. It works if you got an electric one, too. And then we're going to take a pableno pepper, and we're going to put that on there, and we're going to start charring that, okay? So see what I would do right here is I would just take a bit of that tuna like that and spread it on while we're doing that, right? That's what, that's what I would do. You thought you would get some, huh? <laughs> so I got the corn on the, uh, on the stove and the pableno pepper because we're going to make this unbelievable tortilla soup when we come back. Stick around. We'll be right back. Just getting started here. put this back on the stove to show you the reason why we're doing this here is to get flavors you know particularly with a lot of this mexican cooking real mexican cooking 
they do, they toast things, they char things, they do a lot of things to get different flavors. And this being one of them right here, that you can simply do on the stove or out in the barbecue pit. It's not going to make all kinds of smoke and stuff. See, we're trying to get this skin. There's a skin here on this pobleno pepper. Not, see that? We're trying to get that skin off. And so what we do is when we take this, when it's really good and charred like this, we take it and put it in a paper sack, let it sit for about two, three minutes, shake it up, and a lot of that skin will come off. And see, that's what I have right here. I've got the charred pobleno and I got the corn. Because now what I'm ready to do and show you is I'm going to show you this dynamite soup. So here we go. We're going to start uh, with a little oil. And then, and there are many variations of this. Now what I like to do is this. I like to take my chicken pieces and I like to season it with cumin and a little bit of allspice and a little salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing that up and we're going to start the chicken and browning the chicken up. Now, once the chicken starts getting brown, let the corn and the pobleno cool and then we're going to take that off the cob and take the chard off the pobleno and cut it up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some tortillas. And we're going to just put a little julienne tortilla like this. And then what we're going to do, and you can do this ahead of time. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tortillas in vegetable oil, about 380 degrees, and we're going to fry them. We're going to fry them nice and crispy golden brown. Now, once that's happening... We'll come back here for a second. Once that happens now, the chicken getting brown here. We're going to smell the flavors. We're going to build it now. We're going to add the onion to this. We're going to add some tomato paste, like a good tablespoon, which is going to be sort of the foundation of that. Keeping it together, we're going to add some garlic in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Then... We're going to add that charred corn and the pobleno in here now, which is going to give it a little spice, a little texture. Now, if I was at home, you might want to add a little tequila in here right now, right? All right. So now the tortillas are all nice and golden brown. And we're going to shake them out like this. Okay, they're nice and crispy. And as I said, anything hot like this, you want to salt them now. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take chicken broth, and we're going to add the chicken broth into the soup. And as the chicken broth comes up to a boil and we start simmering this, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the tortillas inside of the soup. Tortilla, tortillas in there are going to break down and that's going to start not only giving it the flavor, but it's also going to give it the great texture and foundation of that. Now, I got some homemade chickens. When we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to rub them down and show you how to make a homemade smoker. Stick around. Doc Gibbs. <laughs> If you're just joining us, we're making a little smoldering meal tonight, doing a bunch of smoked dishes. We've got this amazing uh, tortilla soup going on right now. I'm going to show you about a homemade smoker in a second, and we're going to check in with my friend over here. How you doing? 
pregnant. Hanging in there, still pregnant, huh? Been saying that for nine months now, right? Yes. I know. It's unbelievable. Well, you still feel you're hanging in there? You feeling okay? Yeah, she likes the music. She likes the music. Okay. <laughs> Doc, did you hear that? Hello? <laughs> this guy's tapping me. The baby likes the music. Really? Yes. That's good. The baby All likes right. the music. Good news is you can stay for the rest of the show. Man, stay. Wow. Doc, check this out. Now, look, the soup has been simmering for about 20 minutes. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the tortillas now, and we're going to put them in there. Okay? And then you just sort of start breaking it in here like that. All right? So that's what we got going on. Now, we're going to kick it up a couple of notches like this. Look, first thing is we're going to add a little bit of cilantro. Next thing is... We're going to add the juice to wake it up of some lime. Yeah, baby, it just kind of gives it a little shot. Okay? Now, you're going to see soon how this tortillas is going to start working in here. Oh, yeah, babe. All right. So that's, we're working on that right now. All right. Next thing, a little garnish. I've got a little smoked jalapeno called chipotle, kind of spicy. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of this chipotle pepper. You can buy it. It comes in a can. You can make it with sour cream. And I'm just going to fold this chipotle in the sour cream here to make this chipotle crema. And you'll see where, where I'm going with this in a second here. All right. So now we've got that. And we got a little, mm, 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 mm. little salt right there. All right. Now we have that. We're going to uh, see how ripe our avocado is here. Oh, yeah. See, and you get spots like this, Jay. Can you, can, you, can you get in here a little bit? Use some of that terrific cinematography you are known for. <laughs> you see how we got some of those dark spots like that? That's right on the border right there. And, you know, it's a bummer when you kind of go to the store and you come home with the avocados. You don't never know what you're going to get because you can't peek inside of them. So that's why you always got to buy two. Because, look, see, this is a little bit better here, Jay. Um, hello? <laughs> see, that's a little bit better right there. Thank you for that wonderful camera work, sir. Thank you. So now... Don't do that for Bobby, you know. That kind of work. You don't? Get that kind of work. This is a little extra for me? Thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. Thank you, buddy. So we're just going to sort of... Um, I'm just going to little sort of do a little of that, and I'll come back to that in a second. Now... Here's the tortilla soup again. We're going to mix this in here. Here's what we're going to do. Before we serve this up now, the longer we cook this, the more the tortillas are going to break down. But let's not use the family here for guinea pigs. Let's taste it. Oh, my. I see me. Oh, You would not even believe what's going on in my mind right now. <laughs> but I can tell you that I'm ready to serve this. And if I was ready to serve this, here's what I would do. I'm just going to leave it rustic like this. I could break it down. Why get all fancied up like this? Here's what I would do. I'm just going to get a nice bowl of tortilla soup. Okay. And for me, I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of avocado and I'm going to garnish it with some of that chipotle crema mm. oh, and then I'm going to just take a little wedge of lime and just sort of serve it like that so you can squirt the lime right in there and have a wonderful wonderful soup like that unbelievable think this is a little bit too spicy for uh, the baby? No. You'd give it a shot, though, right? Anything. All right. Anything you cook. Should I come to you, or can you come to me right now? I don't think I can make it to these. You can't move? <laughs> no, just go around by the back. Don't worry. That won't bite you. Are you, like, tied in or something over there? No. Come on. Oh, he really wants me to go. 
You know, 90 million people are looking at your belly right now, you know? You're very welcome. God bless you. Absolutely. We're going to take care of you. You always got to do that because she doesn't know the next couple of days she won't be eating nothing in there. You know what I mean? All right. Look, here's now another chicken dish. But before I go there, homemade smoker, I got two roasting pans right here. Got these little uh, aluminum foil wrapped ramekins. Hey, look, it's homemade. What do you want from me? Smoke chips goes in here now. And then I take my... Uh, I take my other roasting pan here, put it on here, and we're going to let it start getting a little smoky in here. You with me so far? Yeah. All right. This is a great recipe that I learned from a, a famous doctor, Dr. Scavice. He's a wonderful cook. And um, basically, Scavice's chicken, well, what you got to do is you got to put one of these gloves on like this. Hold on a minute. Okay. And then you got to get another one of these on. You probably got smaller hands. Why don't you come on over here and try this? Yeah, come on. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, see if you can get this glove on. On you or on me? On you, on oh, you. Oh, okay. I know it's not going on me, baby. Look, I mean... Yeah, all right. All right. Now, let, let, let's do this together real quick. Right. Right, we sir. got two chickens here, okay? Mm -hmm. And basically what we're going to do, that's kosher salt. So you do the kosher salt, and I'm going to do the essence. And so what we're going to do is basically you're just going to douse the, douse the chicken, scavici style like that. Go ahead. It's hard lefty, though. You know, you're doing great. But I kind of press it in a little bit, Jennifer, like, like that. <laughs> just don't be afraid. It's dead. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, perfect. That's good. All right. All right. That's now. Hang on a second. Okay. Now you got to put these like in an airtight bag like this, right? And these airtight bags. <laughs> <laughs> My gloves getting a little excited over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, when we <laughs> hey when we come back, I'm gonna show you about this chicken. Stick around. Salt and uh, essence chicken that we rubbed, thanks to uh, Jessica. Jennifer. Jennifer. Excuse me. Mom, I'm, I'm learning, Mom. So now what we're going to do, you want to do that for like an hour. Overnight is even better, guys, okay? And then it goes in the homemade smoker like this, okay? Then, if you don't have a top, and you want to talk about great, great smoked chicken. You don't have a top. Now what we do is you just start it with aluminum foil and you want to seal it real, real nice all the way around. Now let me also tell you this, okay? Seal it all the way around. You can also smoke in the oven. So just because we started this now on the stove like that, we're not going to have to finish it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get better heat in the oven, about 350 degrees for about an hour and we're going to get like really really super juicy chicken okay before i go ahead and get that what i've done during the commercial break was i took some chorizo and i started just rendering it down and what i'm now going to do is add onion i'm going to add a little bit of bell pepper and some garlic in here as well 
Then, then what we're going to do is we're going to take some diced tomatoes. A little bit of tomato sauce. Some of that chipotle, that smoked jalapeno in there, which is going to give it the heat. And some fresh parsley. You with me so far? Yeah. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to let this simmer. And as this starts simmering, watch, watch what we're going to do now. We're going to take some of these shrimps from the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to season them with essence like that. Then, we're going to take some of this Cabo Wabo. Yeah. We want to just add a little bit of that Cabo in there. Okay? Oh, no, we're going to drink the rest. <laughs> just get that little agave flavor in there. Because now what we're going to do, folks, is this. We're going to take the shrimps, marinate them like this, and we're going to layer them on top. Okay? We're going to layer them on top, and we're going to start just sort of hiding the shrimp like this. Okay? And we're going to let them just sort of tell us. Oh, we'll give them one. Give them two. Perfect. All right. Let's let that simmer now. If you want to put a lid on them, that's great. Now. As I said, about an hour, you get it inside the oven. You see how tightly packed I have this, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here now. Whew, you, you may want to stay with me because uh, I, got, I got the shot blocked over here, I think. Well, Wade's got it too, but... All right, look, check this out. All right? And the little homemade smoker. Now, you want to talk about how juicy. Watch this. With this smoke. How juicy this is. Okay? And we're just deboning this right here, the leg. Okay? How juicy. How juicy this is. This is a lot of your daughter's hard work, you know. Well, try a little bit of that, Mom. We're going to let him cool. You should let it rest a little bit. How's uh, my friend doing? You okay? I see that thing moving every now and then. <laughs> All of a sudden, I saw a foot like that. It was, I thought it was like, give me some of that chicken. <laughs> she okay? Yes. Okay. Up. We're almost there. <laughs> All right, look, we are uh, got the shrimp going now. Okay? I'm going to mix this in a little bit. What I did is I took some peppers and onions, and you could use a little bit of saffron or turmeric. And what I've done is I've made some delicious Mexican rice, okay, right here during the commercial break, okay, which we're going to serve with the chicken. Mom, did you try it? <laughs> you told with, her to let it rest. I no, 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 I was letting mine rest over here, but <laughs> I wanted Mom to just kind of see your work of, isn't that good? Uh, delicious, mm, huh? Very moist. Delicious. delicious. All right, now, mm. let's talk about Spare ribs, baby back ribs, Kansas City ribs. Let's talk about smoking some ribs on the stove, right? Watch this. Brown sugar, chili powder, essence, garlic, cayenne, mustard, allspice, cumin, dry mustard, Salt, sugar, butter, 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 more pepper. And then this is the dry mixture. 
See, and what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this all over the ribs. And then I'm going to set up that smoke. And when we come back, I'm going to serve up this shrimp and chorizo stew with Mexican rice. Where do you see these ribs, folks? Don't make a move. We'll be right back. Thank you. chicken <laughs> how are we doing up there on the upper deck all right with the smoked chicken not bad huh all right look so uh, i got the uh, ribs sometimes people make a big mistake when it comes to ribs because what they do is this they get them like this now they rub them all with barbecue sauce they go out in the grill or they go in the, st in the uh, smoker in the house or the smoker in the oven and they put them on there and it basically burns the same thing with barbecue chicken you got to let it you got to let it cook. So what I recommend is like what we just did here. You make a you make a dry rub like this, okay? Pretty famous in Kansas City. Memphis does a little bit more of a wet one. Although you got to start with a a dry mixture. And what I recommend that you do is you do this, okay? Both sides like this using a rib rub. And you can save this What's left over, keep it in an airtight container. You can use this on pork butts. You can use it on all kinds of things, not just ribs. Now what you want to do is you want to wrap this in plastic or you want to wrap it in aluminum foil and let it marinate, particularly like overnight. So if you're going to have people over on Sunday, do it on Saturday in the afternoon. Let it marinate in there. Then you set up your smoker like we did earlier. Put the wood chips, whatever you like, mesquite little strong, maybe you like hickory, I'm, I'm a hickory fan. Maybe I'd use a little apple wood or some cedar like that, maybe if it was some fish or shellfish. And basically, you set it up and you put your ribs in there when you're ready, especially if you're doing this sort of home type smoker like this, and you smoke them, and like I said, don't worry, lower temperature better, you can always finish it inside the oven, because you can smoke in the oven. That's what I do with mine, I get maximum smoke for about four, six, eight minutes or so, maximum smoke. Then I take it and I set the oven on like 325 and I put them in the oven and I say bye-bye for like an hour and a half, two hours, and they're like fantastic. Speaking about fantastic. All right. Now, we're going to, uh, you feeling okay? All right. Whew. We're almost there, babe. Hang in there. All right, we're going to take some of that Mexican rice now and we're going to serve some of this on the bottom like this and then we're going to take the shrimp and chorizo stew and we're going to just sort of work this around the bottom like such now you could do this with lobster too but we ran out of money tonight so we just <laughs> we had to settle for for the old shrimps so there's uh, what you got right there, folks. It's that simple. A little cilantro like this, and there you have it. A little shrimp and chorizo <laughs> stew right there, okay? So after they uh, come out of the oven, the ribs, that is, and um, it's uh, probably maybe about an hour and a half or so. Here's my pregnant lady. <laughs> Here you go, honey. Pass that down, please. Thank you very much. God bless you, Thank okay? You. <laughs> All right. So now what happens is the ribs have been in here for about two hours. Check this out. And this is just completely dry. 
This is completely dry right here. This is what I like to do with them. I just take like a knife. Look at how tender. Look at how tender this is, right? Look at how tender. Look at how tender. Look at how Doc Gibbs is drooling. And then basically what we're going to do is we just, here's what I do now. I take my barbecue sauce. And then I take the ribs. Which would be my platter right here. You see that? And then what I do now is I take this and I just sort of drizzle that. Kind of like this. And a little bit of green onions like that. All right. You have a very, very good baby, okay? You have a good baby. Thanks for your help, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. I'm Emma Lagasse. See you next time.